Hello students. Um, I thought it would be a good idea to back up a little bit and just review some basic equation solving strategies. Okay, so let's go back to our first semester content. Um, and I am going to go through about four um, equations with you, just reviewing the different skills that we learned um, last November and December. Okay, so the first question I want to do with you is this negative 20 equals negative 4x minus 6x. Now we generally have four, three to four steps that we follow. Simplify first. This may involve using the distributive property, combining like terms, um, seeing if anything cancels out, things like that. The next step in our process is get the variables to the same side. And then the third step is isolate the X. Isolate your variable. Well, I should put variable. That looks like isodate. We don't want that. Isolate the variable. The last step is check your work. Hopefully you remember this from first semester, but let's practice it. So here in simplifying, I have negative 20 by itself on the left, and it's just going to stay there for now. There's nothing else we can combine with that at this point in time. Negative 4x and negative 6x are like terms. Negative 4 and negative 6 we can add together, and we get negative 10x. Now, they are already on the same side. They're on one side of our equation. They're both on the right. Negative 20 equals negative 10x. Isolate the variable by undoing this multiplying by 10. So we undo our order of operations in reverse order. And here we are multiplying. So we undo multiplication by division. Negative 10x divided by negative 10 on both sides. Negative 10 divides out. Negative 10 over negative 10 is 1. So we're left with x. And negative 20 divided by negative 10 is positive 2. That is our solution. OK, I can double check this by going back to the original and doing negative 20 equals negative 4 times 2 minus 6 times 2. Negative 20 equals negative 8 minus 12. Negative 20 equals negative 20. That works. We get the both, we get the same thing on both sides of our equation. Okay. Pause here if you need to to get this down in your notes. And then I am going to clear and work a second example, okay? So our second example is x minus 1 equals 5x plus 3x minus 8. So again, simplify first. On the right side of my equation, I have two x terms. I have 5x and 3x. So I'm going to add those together. x minus 1 remains on the left. This gives me 8x minus 8. So step 1, simplify. Step 2, get the x's on the same side of the equation. So I can do that two ways. Subtract x from both sides or subtract 8x from both sides. So I am going to subtract x because I like to keep my coefficients positive, 
positive as often as possible. So negative one remains on the left. 8x minus x is 7x minus 8. Okay, now I'm going to get my constants together so that we can begin isolating the x. So I will add 8 to both sides. This gives me positive 7 equals 7x. Okay, order of operations backwards, undo addition and subtraction, and then undo multiplication and division. So now we will undo this multiplying by 7 by dividing by 7, and we get x equals 1. And again, I can check my work, okay, by going back to the original. If I do 1 minus 1 equals 5 times 1 plus 3 times 1 minus 8, we get 1 minus 1 is 0, 5 minus 1 is 5, or 5 times 1 is 5, 3 times 1 is 3 minus 8, 0 equals 8 minus 8, 0 equals 0. Our solution works. Okay? Again, take a moment and pause if you need to write this example down. And then we'll take a look, take a look at our third example, which involves simplifying first using the distributive property. Okay? So this one, we have 12 equals negative 4 times negative 6x minus 3. The distributive property, remember, you can multiply this 4 into both parts. You may remember using the box method first semester, negative 6x minus 3 across the top. And we fill this in with negative 24x and negative 12. Okay, so here 12 equals, oh, that's negative 4. Oh, okay, negative 4. That's going to change things because a negative times a negative is positive. Negative times a negative is positive. <laughs> that impacts my whole problem. So I'm glad I caught that. Negative 4 times negative 6x is positive 24x. Negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12. Okay, so we're simplifying first. Subtract 12 from both sides. 12 minus 12 is 0 equals 24x, divide by 24, and we get x equals 0. Double check that. So negative 4 times negative 6 times 0 minus 3, negative 4 times 0 minus 3, Negative 4 times negative 3 equals positive 12. So we get 12 equals 12. Okay. Again, pause here if you need to write this down. And we will clear our screen and do one more equation solving example. Equation number four, negative times the quantity. So that's technically negative one times the quantity. One plus seven X minus six times negative seven minus X equals 36. So now I am going to distribute my negative one Again, you can use the box method if you need to. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 times 7x is negative 7x. Negative 6. I'm going to take the sign with the 6. 
negative 6 times negative 7 is positive 42. Negative 6 times negative x is positive 6x equals 36. Now, we have some like terms. I have negative 1 and 42 on the left that I can combine, and that adds to 41. I have 6x and negative 7x, which gives me negative 1x equals 36. Now I need to work on isolating my x. So I am going to subtract 41 from both sides. And I get negative x equals, or negative 1x, equals negative 5. To undo this negative, we can divide by negative 1, and we get x equals positive 5. Okay, and again, we can check our answer by doing negative 1 times 1 plus 7 times 5 minus 6 times negative 7 minus 5, and see if that equals 36. So here, that 35, 36, so negative 1 times 36 minus 6 times negative 12 equals 36. That gives me negative 36 plus 72, and that does equal positive 36, okay? So that's equation solving review. Remember, simplify first. Get your x's on the same side of the equation. Isolate the x, OK? These are the strategies we will use in solving our systems of equations using equal values, substitution, and elimination, OK?